Welcome, let me show you how easy it is to understand Photoshop's interface. Let's start the program by double-clicking on this PSD that you have attached to this lecture. Alternatively, you can drag in any image, or you can just use Ctrl-N and create any random project. The image isn't relevant. So here we are, and there's lots to look at. Let me break down the interface. The most important part is this central area. This is called the canvas, and it's where everything happens. This is where you draw, paint, design, and it's where you should focus 90% of the time. It means it's number one on our list. Directly related to it, we have the Layers panel. You can see it on the right side, but in case you don't have it there, go to Window, Layers. Everything you place on the canvas will show up here. For example, I'll add a circle to my project. Immediately, that's going to show up in my Layers panel. You can see it's called Ellipse 1. These are connected, and you can't use one without the other. If you think of driving, you can consider the canvas like your windscreen. Through it, you can see the most important thing, the road. In our case, the road is this image. The Layers panel is your dashboard, where you can see information like speed, revs, fuel level. In Photoshop, your Layers panel acts in a similar way, meaning it provides you with various pieces of information regarding what's happening on the canvas. In order of their importance, you should always look at what's in front of you on the canvas. But you should also glance at your Layers panel from time to time to get valuable insight. So number one is the canvas, closely behind it stands the Layers panel. On the left side, you have your toolbox. This area of Photoshop should be accessed 90% of the time by using your hotkeys. As we progress, you'll start learning them in no time. In essence, it's more efficient to hit B to enable your brush tool, rather than moving your mouse cursor all the way to the left. That's because your work area is here, on the canvas, and thus this is where your mouse cursor should be at all times. Continuing, we have at the top of Photoshop this menu system, which contains all sorts of options and features. We'll use it from time to time, but the most important ones have hotkeys, and it's much faster to use those instead of going through these items. Considering all this, it lands at number four in my book. Immediately underneath it, we have this area called the Options Bar, which changes constantly depending on what tool you have selected. Right now, I have the Move tool active, and I know that because I can see its icon is pressed. If I click on Other Tools, notice how this area changes. Basically, this is your Information Zone, where you can see and modify the settings for each tool. This is fairly important, but it really depends on the type of work you're doing. Having that in mind, we can place it at number 5. To sum it up, we have 1. The Canvas 2. The Layers Panel 3. The Toolbar 4. The Menu System 5. The Options Bar You'll work with the first three about 90% of the time, so don't worry about it. You don't have to memorize anything, because as we work together, you'll start learning them effortlessly. Okay, that wraps it up. I'll see you in the next lecture.